there, it's me, Dr. Beverly Wixon. I hope you are having an absolutely magically abundant day and week for that matter. It's Tuesday, so I hope the whole week is going to be magically abundant. And I would love to hear about it, so go ahead and tell me. If you do pop into the live, please say hi. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for taking the time to watch the replay. I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate it if you're live too. So, you know, I was thinking about different things we've done in life. And I was actually just listening to somebody else who was talking about, you know, different things you can write things about. And one of them was basically making a list of milestones you've had in life and that you can write about those. And I thought, you know, I've, I've, I've done some scary stuff. And you know what? I bet you have too. So it's really important to keep a list of those hard, scary things you've done so you can remind yourself that you can do it again because we all get scared. We all have these moments where we think, oh, I can never do that. I can never do that. I can never do that. And we do. So, you know, I mean, I earned a master's. I earned a doctorate. Years, years, eons after I earned my undergrad. And my doctorate and my master's both, <laughs> it was a, I had a 4.0, didn't have that as an undergrad. And I wouldn't have had that had I gone directly into a master's program right after undergrad. No way would that have happened. I needed to be out of school for a while. And I never thought I wanted to write another paper because I was an English major, not an English education major, an English literature major. So I wrote a ton of papers in undergrad. Thought I would never want to write another one. And um, not only did I write several of them, many, many, many of them for my master's, but I wrote, you know, a dissertation that's nearly 200 pages long for my doctorate. So doctoral studies slash dissertation. So yeah, you know, you can do those hard things, even the things that you think you'll never want to do again, you can do because you have this background. But the thing is, you have to ask yourself, what else have I done? Because the problem is, when we start thinking, oh, I could never do that, our brain, you know, because our brain will answer virtually any question, even if it's not phrased exactly as a question, that we want to find us the evidence. So when we start th saying things like, oh, I could never do that, I could never do that, our brain will tell us 27 things, or 27,000 things more likely, that we have done in life that didn't go quite as we planned. But if we say, I don't know, that seems kind of hard, but I've done hard things before. Then your brain is going to come up with 27,000 things that you've done that were hard to give you the evidence that, yes, by God, you can do hard things. But, you know, it's, it, and so it's, I want you to know it's perfectly natural to start feeling that I can't do this. I can't do this. I mean, I just heard a couple of hours ago that Simone Biles, the greatest gymnast of all time, pulled out of the team competition for tonight. And I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Um, she didn't have the best Olympic trials. She didn't have the best qualifying round the other night. And she feels like the weight of the world is on her shoulders because even the commentators made the comment that for the first time in, you know, eons, we didn't leave the qualifying round in first place. We came in second. And they actually stated because Simone Biles stepped out of bounds and she had, and she didn't stick her landing. They actually stated those things, which took a few points off. The, the fact that she's doing things 10 times harder than anybody else didn't seem to come across. And she is, and, and it's so sad because I know that all this pressure, I mean, who wants to be the leader of the team who's the first one to not win gold for the U.S. women's gymnastics team in, you know, more than two decades, I guess. I'm not sure when we won the first one. <laughs> Almost two decades. So I can imagine the weight of the world is on her shoulders. I mean, she's 24 years old, and I just, I can't imagine having that kind of pressure on me at that age. I can't imagine having that kind of pressure on me now. And yet, yet we all put that pressure on ourselves. 
And this poor young lady, the media is doing it to her and possibly coaches and everybody else. And I'm sure she's done it to herself a lot. But the media is doing it. The world, I mean, the whole world is watching this. So if she has those moments, then of course we're going to have those moments. We only think the world's watching us. The world is watching her. We think it. So if you have those moments, keep track of the hard things that you've done so that you can look back on them. If she had another three weeks before this thing, she might go ahead and do it. But the poor thing probably hasn't slept. So she's probably, you know, that's probably getting sick. So it's probably a medical thing at this point. We don't have that excuse. We don't have that kind of pressure on us. We don't have to do it tonight. We don't have to perform in front of the entire world. We are not, you know, placing the hopes of an entire nation in our hands. So, what do we have to lose by trying some hard thing? And if she can have, what, three, four tricks named after her, then we can do hard things too. We've done them before. We can do them now. I would love to know one or two hard things that you've done. If you just put them in the comments, I mean, I would love to hear something you've done that you know you can move forward with. And you know that you, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, you know that there's something that you're postponing, you're putting off because you're afraid you won't be able to do it. But if you list some hard things that you've done already, that will give you the strength to go ahead and do the next hard thing. Besides, it's just rehearsal. You're not going for a gold medal. You're going for qualifying. So, practice. Do it. Go for it. Do it in here if you want to. That'll be fine. Love to know what the hard things are you've done and what the hard thing is that you're postponing. Put that in the comments below too. And if all that helps, come join me in the Abundance Bootcamp. We're just getting started tonight. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.